Hello, and thanks for watching. Uh, this is just a simple tutorial on how to get started using KuCoin's APIs uh, using Python. Um, I found that uh, using Python is just a little bit easier, and uh, there's actually already a, a good tool out there um, that you can use. It's a package called Python-KuCoin. Uh, this one made. I'll put a link in the description uh, to their webpage so you can show how to use uh, their package and kind of interact with uh, KuCoin to either set up buyers or sell buy or sell uh, coins uh, from just a program that you make. Um, but all we're going to be doing today is kind of setting up, showing you how to pull information uh, from that, and from there, I'm sure that um, it'll be a lot easier to set up your own application uh, using their documentation. So. Uh, so first things first, uh, I'm going to be using uh, Visual Studio um, to run this, and uh, I'm going to be using Python, Python uh, 3.6, um, and there's a few libraries that we'll need. So uh, if you haven't started yet, you just should have got a file, new, project, and uh, Python, and Python application, and uh, just name it whatever you want, click OK, and you'll pretty much end up right here. Um, I'm going to be using these imports, JSON, OS, threading, and KuCoin uh, client. Uh, there's some few packages you'll need as well. So to install packages, you'll just right click on Python, click uh, install Python package. And uh, the first two things you'll need um, are, uh, what was it, Python, Python dash KuCoin, yeah, KuCoin. And I uh, just type it in and click the link, and it will install the package. Uh, and the next thing you'll need as well is JSON. Um, JSON is just for parsing later, so you can just do pip install JSON. Um, click that link, and it will just go ahead and download it. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so first things first uh, as well, you'll need to create a KuCoin account. Uh, link will be in the description as well for that. Um, once you have created an account, uh, you'll need to create an API key. And so how you do that is once you set up the account, uh, you'll have a menu bar up at the top um, called account. You'll click on account uh, and you'll go to a little sidebar, nav bar, um, and it'll have something called API keys on the left hand side. You click it and then you click uh, create to create a new API key. And it'll give you two things. It will give you a key and it will give you a secret. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, set up the variables for those two. So API key uh, equals the key. Obviously, I'm not going to put my own key in there. That's something you don't want to share with anybody. And uh, API secret. And we'll go ahead and just leave those blank for now. And then uh, basically, we're going to use the client import that we just brought in. and set up our variable with a client uh, to pull using the API key and API secret. So basically now we can use this variable uh, to access a whole bunch of stuff using KuCoin. Um, so th second thing, uh, let's say that you want to set up a timer to refresh um, you know, every few seconds to show what the updated value is. So um, for me it was easier just to set up you know, like a define function or something like that. Um, so in this case, we'll just do define, uh, you know, it'll probably just be easier just to copy paste what I already have, uh, define print it, and um, I will start a function, and we'll go ahead and start a timer uh, that's using the threading. Um, so threading.timer, and we're going to set it for an interval of one second. Um, we're going to run uh, print it, and then start it. So. Um, from there, now we can start pulling in our information. So every time, every second, we're going to want to pull information using client, and then from there, output it to something that we can read. So we got the timer set up. And the next thing I did is I set up a variable uh, called pull, and pull is equal to client.getTick. So just to type it out, client uh, is what we set up up here. Um, client dot and then if we put a dot you can see that uh, there's a bunch of different things so you can get all balances uh, create order um, you can get just a whole bunch of information from KuCoin uh, as well you can get the currencies uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, from what you saw earlier is called get tick 
and uh, what this does is just pulls in a whole bunch of information uh, from every coin uh, on the market uh, so you can kind of make uh, a better choice on what maybe you want to buy or sell. But this is just for an example. So, um, so yeah, we'll do uh, client.gettick. And what that does uh, is when you pull that and then you output it, it's going to look something along the lines like this. Uh, it's just going to be a JSON format. Um, it's going to pull in information and you'll have a whole bunch of coins it's pulling. It'll give you like the name, um, you know, what it's trading, if it, or if it's trading, the last price on it, the buy price, the sell price, what the changes are, um, etc. So you get a whole bunch of information when you pull this uh, every time. So in this case, uh, the hardest thing for me to learn was how to pull, uh, let's say, just a variable uh, from here. So uh, I'll go ahead and show how to do that. So once we got a pull. Uh, request in to get the client text so that pulls in the JSON information. We're going to set up a variable to kind of parse that a little bit. So set up a variable called coin type uh, and we're going to pull, um, let's say for example, um, let's pull this over here. Let's pull the first one. Let's pull uh, Ethereum first. So uh, in this case, I want to make this zero because zero is the first coin in order uh, using the uh, JSON file. And uh, I want to pull the coin type here. So we're going to then pull the coin type, and then now we have to uh, output that coin type. So we'll do print coin type, the variable we set up earlier. And uh, yeah, so that should pull it. And then uh, the last thing we'll need to do is obviously call the function, so print it. OK. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and input these keys, I'll run it, and I'll show you what the uh, final product is. So just give me one second. All right. So this is kind of what we have uh, after we run the code. Um, we can see that it keeps updating every second, like we told it to, uh, and it's pulling in the coin type. So uh, from the file that I had earlier, let me go ahead and bring it over, uh, we see that it's pulling the coin type. Ethereum, uh, and that also means that we can start pulling another in information like the last deal price and have it update. Um, so maybe uh, in this case you don't want to have it like going down and like updating, you know, every few seconds. So we'll go ahead and uh, cross over from that and uh, just have it clear the screen uh, every time, so that way we don't have to have a long list going down uh, all the time. So just give me one second. All right, so. What we'll do here, um, like we said, we're going to be pulling in, uh, we'll be pulling in and clearing uh, the screen so it makes it a little bit easier for our printing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it before. Uh, we'll use OS.system clear screen. A lot of people don't like to use that. I know this isn't really for production or anything, uh, but we'll just go ahead and use that uh, for now. Um, so, uh, an easier way to kind of print things uh, in kind of a format maybe you want. Um, I went ahead and uh, just set up my own way of doing it, which is just, uh, this is pretty much the standard now, dot .format, and then I just put in the variable coin type, and it will put the coin uh, where the zero is. So uh, now it should say coin, and then have the variable we want, and so on. And we can do this for a bunch of stuff. So uh, the next thing I did after getting the coin type was maybe want to get like uh, a buy price. So in this case, what I did is looked at the JSON file over here and let's see buy um, and then it will pull the price here uh, into there so um, let's go ahead and pull in the buy price so all I did was set up a variable for buy price we're gonna pull in this case we'll just make it zero because we're gonna pull in Ethereum uh, we're gonna pull buy and uh, now we just need to output it um, so in this case we'll say buy and uh, in this case, we need to change this to buy price. Let's copy it over. And now, if we were to run this, it would actually pull up the buy price and the coin type. And you can do this as well. So, like, say if I want to pull a different coin, like, say I want to go ahead and just pull Bitcoin, um, what that's going to do is you notice how these are like kind of separated by brackets. So, this between this is zero. Uh, this between this is one. If you set it separate by a comma, that's two, etc. So if you want to keep moving down to coins, you have to go through and kind of 
uh, just keep changing uh, this number here. So I would want to pull uh, the second coin in the list by pulling one. So, you know, and programming that pulls from zero first and then goes up and then iterates up. So, uh, yeah, and that will pull the Bitcoin price. That's pretty much it. Um, you can use this to pretty much pull in any information you want. From there, you can set up your own algorithms to kind of determine uh, average pricing and then uh, pretty much go on to creating your own bot or selling um, stuff as well. Uh, if you go to, if you want to learn how to like buy or uh, sell coins, uh, you can actually go to the website. Again, I'll have it at a link. Um, and they actually have API documentation on how to use the KuCoin, the client, uh, to sell uh your uh, certain coin back uh, if it's a certain price. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And hopefully this gets you started.